Yeah. Hello, it is time to start the show. And I'm going to get started right after this. Good evening, folks. It's the Friday Night Show. I hope you all had the chance to check out my thumbnail. That's a photo my daughter sent to me. That's actually where she lives. She actually sent me on uh, on Snapchat. She sent me some photos of some fish they caught out of the ocean. I was like, I was like, that's a weird looking fish. Did you eat it? How would it taste like? And she goes, Yeah, we ate it. It tastes good. I was like, All right. <laughs> but uh but yeah you, you know they, they have deep sea fishing it, that's the it's the, they're right by the ocean you know oh yeah and there is there's deep sea fishing right there there's there's coral reefs there's reef sharks you know small reef sharks so she's actually swum with sharks and she she told me she petted one but it didn't like it because it swam away real fast you know so it's like you know, early twenties, married. Both of them are down there, having Chilling. them a blast, right? So nice. And I can't blame her. If I had that gig, a GM of an island resort, when I was in my early twenties, that would be. I mean, what 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 can you do? You know, your days off. What what are you doing? You're deep sea fishing. You're diving, seeing coral reefs, checking out all the you know life in the ocean right there and you know she she does occasionally tell me folks that there's this uh when a hurricane hits you know the, the hurricanes they do have to go around and board up everything but it typically don't hit them directly you know but they go board up they, they have like pre pre-made everything to board up the entire resort so it's like it sounds like quite the quest but her husband's an animal, like when it comes to work. So, you know, good to I, like have. The kid. I like the kid. He's a good guy. But anyway, so, you know, guys, like we didn't tell any jokes <laughs> in the first stream. You know, we're slacking. <laughs> right. Slacking on our pimping. We are. We're slacking. So yeah, you know we're we're, we're we, we got to get this going on. Hey, there's there there's Tony in the chat. I don't know if Tommy Tommy will come back, but thanks for resubscribing, buddy. I, I appreciate you. <laughs> but yeah, there's Tony. Good evening. She's got the youngins. We got Bryant in the chat. He's everywhere. He's faithful. <laughs> mosh pits, mosh pits. I might, I might be. I've been in my fair share of those. I, I have. I went to a, a Deftones concert that not sponsored YouTube. I don't know if you know who that is, but when I was younger, and we were the me and my friends, we were the walking wounded walking out of there. It was, it was awesome. It was awesome. <laughs> you, you know, I. I like to think like I'm like a creature of habit. You know, I, I do certain things like repetitively, you know, like I have my little stick and I kind of do it. And then, you know, every once in a while I'll do something different. I don't really like the radio because the radio will sometimes repetitively play songs that I don't like. And it's not that I, I want to listen to all new stuff all the time. I like to hear repeats and stuff. And sometimes you have to hear a song four or five times or maybe 500 times before you like it. You know, or it gets stuck in your head. Um, Eric Church, he was a performer, an artist, a country singer. And I really did not like him. Really, really did not <laughs> like him. And, you know, recently, or probably maybe the last decade, 
Uh, I will tell you, I really, really like him. When he first came out with uh, the, his album Smoke a Little Smoke or his... Drink a know, little drink, smoke a little yeah. smoke. Mm -hmm. I just wasn't the biggest fan of it. I'm like, hillbilly trying to make smoking, you know, cool and all this. You know, I just wasn't a big fan of it, right? Whoa. And then, you know, because country, when you think about country music, what is it primarily? It's drinking crying about your ex, you know, who's cheating who, and, you know, so that's like what, you know, but now they got Willie Nelson coming out, and he's, you know, everybody knows who Willie Nelson is, but just, like, now you got Eric Church, and now you got more and more people coming out, and they're trying to make, you know, that more and more, like, acceptable, and just hearing it in the song, and I think it was back in, like, 2013 or 2012, I think I was, I was working when the Niners were in the Super Bowl, and that was coming on at my job a lot on the radio. And again, it was just one of those songs that just turned like, I like certain music, but that's certain music. Like, you don't, you're not expecting to hear right away, you know, and maybe after people say it so many times, it becomes more acceptable. Yeah. You know? well, I, I like Eric church. Now there's a lot of more, there's like, he's got a song, sweet Carolina um, or Carolina. I like that song. And um, there's just a, a lot of, I don't know, you know, just sometimes, you know, music changes or maybe something happens in your life and then you re-listen to a, a song and it makes different sense. I think, uh, I think that's my guy for tonight. Toto, who would you, um, who's a musician that you'd like to highlight tonight? Uh, what's the criteria? Somebody who just got stuck in your head. You didn't like it at first, but then it grew on you. Yeah, or anybody really, because I know David wants to tell some jokes, and I kind of got off topic for a second, but I know you like music, and Kenny, Kenny yeah. likes music a lot too. That's so hurtful, Brian, because you know I look exactly like Eric Church. Uh, that's <laughs> hurt, hurt <laughs> uh, there was a music guy too. There was a wonderful group, and I just had this one all wrong. Uh, this is going back, I and, and forgive me, I was about 10 years old i had to be about 10 yeah 10 11 and i heard a group called m to me hmm. m to me came on w-a-n-t in richmond and they were doing like a love it or list it or you know trash it or or cash it or something yeah and 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 they were so far ahead of their time and the and people hated it. I I, I did. I it, it came on and it was just 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 syncopated <laughs> beat and the people were giggling and the song was called Juicy Fruit. Oh, but y'all yeah. y'all know it as Biggie Smalls. Uh, you know you're talking about the was, Mississippi. It, it was all a dream. I yeah. used to read Word Up magazine, Salt and Pepper, oh, Heavy yeah. Deep, and yeah. the yeah. That that original beat came on when I was ten years old. The group Juicy. was him to me, and <laughs> I said, "Oh, this is horrible, man! Look, they're giggling and they just talk about juicy juice. You know, juice. What is this? A commercial? What is this?" Mm -hmm. And uh, it Who's later it it is legendary now. I had that wrong. <laughs> At ten, my Mia Copa. <laughs> well, you know the 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 original song that's in um, I Shot Show or I Got You, whatever the the Tupac one, the answer mm -hmm. back to the Biggie uh, insult or whatever. That original song is hilarious. It's just two people sitting singing it, a girl and a guy, and they have like this cheesy background and they're acting super cheesy, but the song is fine. Oh no, super no, that that that, that original. You, you're talking about hit 'em up. Yeah, which I'm talking about the is girl. Girl. one of the most important <laughs> jams in hip hop history. Boom, boom, that is boom, Dennis boom, Edwards boom, 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 and Saida Garrett. Oh my boom, god, boom, yeah, that bass that's the reason why boom. I play the bass, yeah, right now. Yeah, that's that so ridiculous. That is from Eric B and Rock. Him has sampled that. That too. Uh, Biggie, uh, I'm sorry, Tupac has sampled that. Everybody has sampled that. Uh, Dennis Edwards is a former member of the Temptation side. The Garrett has mm. a register like yeah. Michael Jackson, and and it's called "Don't Look Any Further." Don't look oh. any further. Uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, that's one of my <laughs> hey, 
Damn and it. the video is 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 maybe the top video of all time. It, yeah, it's, it's kind it's of two cheesy. people it was, doing karaoke. It was the 80s. Like, it's like so it was, funny. Like I don't know if you guys remember, we used to be able to go in a booth and sing. yeah, it looked like that. That's, That's what it was. That, that was, was technology best. then. It was it was eighty. 80, epitome of the time 83 like, 83 85 yeah somewhere that's around beautiful. there so that's what you had you know that is what you put in a time capsule something like that it's what bad. you guys thoughts i want david i want to ask david then i know both of you guys are going to chime in what's your thought of the beat the the famous beat genius of love the tom oh, tom, 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 tom club. club that jank was oh, fire i want to have some fun that jank that it, it just is. It cracked open with dude <laughs> yeah. and man, Eric, oh, uh, Mariah. Uh, Mariah Carey has done it. Yeah. Oh, dirty bastard! Everybody oh, yeah. love that Tom Tom Club when that came out. It was right around blinding me with science. Oh, with yeah, Thomas Dolby. It, Dolby. It, 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 some it, it was good stuff going on in the, the 80s. It, yeah. Oh, yeah, and everything yeah. played on every station. There wasn't a station yeah. that played one kind of music and a station that played other kind of music. We had multiple the, stations playing top that was it, yes, sir. Fire music 24/7. If, if it was good, it's getting on. We don't Please. care. Run DMC, yeah. Aerosmith, um, yes, Poison, Guns N' Roses, everybody, everything, everybody, everything everybody and hip hop's so making its. It's launching to it, and Michael MTV Jackson and Prince are MTV killing it. Peaking. We just had that, just the best music in the world, man. It was, and we, then it was, so it, it was, it was, yeah. We 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 got it hands down, kids. You have no idea, kids. <laughs> yeah, I feel bad for these kids out there. <laughs> yeah, y'all y'all don't know. Well, you know, you you just really oh, music these days. It's all electronic music and. Yeah, yes. yeah, it's kind. Of, it's not what it used to be. Yeah, oh, you know, man. it's not. not. A guy just, sitting there with a, you know, with a laptop and some sound bars. Just, and, you, and it just really doing, doesn't take much anymore to actually make music. No man, in the day you had to no. have instruments. You know, oh my god, and and, and arrangements. Lots and, of people. And Earth, Wind, and Fire had to hit right on time with dun 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 dun, and the. You know, they everything were had to a lot be. of people then. They refuse to Jeez. pay people today. That's the problem. Yeah. And you, everybody so, for themselves. Do you, I don't know maybe how to explain this, but you know, I was, I'll just say, it. I was talking to an old hippie, right? An older hippie, a nice guy, right? I do have Volkswagens, folks, you know, so I know a lot of different folks. And, you know, hey, everybody can be their own different type of person. And, you know, just because you like one walk or you talk one way doesn't mean that you're not informational or have good information or morals or, you know, yada, yada, whatever. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So with with that, I was talking to this older gentleman and he's a great fella. And he told me that he's a musician. And so and so is an entertainer. And I, I, I like looked at him and both people can play guitar. Both people can, can sing, both people can, but one person makes their own music. The other person kind of picks up a guitar and, and has fun. People probably enjoy that person more than so, you know, the, the one I was talking about, the one who I'm getting this notice, you know, this information from, but the guy who is telling me this, he creates his own music and it's actually real. You know, he actually puts time into it. And, you know, sometimes when you put a lot of effort into something, maybe sometimes people don't necessarily see or all your effort that you put into it or respect it or, or appreciate it. Right. But it's still original. It's still, and then maybe somebody from like what we were just saying, like the genius of love theme or the biggie smalls, you know, Somebody takes that music and then takes it and moves it to another thing and then it becomes great, right? So what he was saying is, is this other guy, you know, he picks up the guitar and he starts just singing, smiling, dancing around, you know, and everybody loves him. So at a certain point, it's like it's the flavor of the week or what's going to last the you know, time. And, you know, I think I think it's interesting. And I, I am uh, really interested in like computers right now, but I also think that if people don't keep exercising and using their brain, it's going to really, really, really oh. hurt. Or, organic hurt intelligence is, is what we, we talk about. Uh, we, we get spoiled with like, 
you can't remember people's numbers. You have to hit their face to call now. We used to have, you remember you had to remember numbers. You had to remember your locker combination and stuff. And nobody can land navigate anymore, man. If it ain't GPS, if it ain't Waze, dude, I can't get you. If, if you don't drop a link <laughs> or a, 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 a pin, I, we could not break out that map and get the average 24 year old to to say okay this yeah. is where we got to go here it, it's it's a you, you start mushing your your brain cells you start getting mentally lazy is what i think you're alluding to hmm. yeah very minimal well, work you, you, you know my my teacher told me i uh, i'd never amount to anything cuz i procrastinate so much you know what i told them just you wait. Very oh, nice. Uh, sorry, I, I had to tell a joke. Was... <laughs> Just you wait. But um, bum, y'all get it. <laughs> Very nice. We gotta get, gotta get the laugh track. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get a laugh track. I'm gonna get a laugh track. Mm -hmm. I got the box down there. I don't, uh, I don't want to take it out. If I change everything in the configuration, it might mess something up in the, put a hole in the universe. I just haven't plugged it up. Oh, I know the show's going to go hairy if I put something in there. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> I oh, can't hear that, you. With that, don't trust atoms. They make up everything. Oh. Uh, did you hear that? They're, they're but um, bum. <laughs> but um, bum. Uh, do you guys know I do music on the side? Teradome, I don't know if you, know if you know this. I do music. No, I didn't. I didn't. Yeah. Um, I've actually been working on a song about a tortilla. Um, actually, it's okay. a rap. <laughs> did y'all hit it? <laughs> but I'm bum. <laughs> all, right. all right, all right, all right. <laughs> uh, you know, since they here, this one always kills. We're getting near to the hair. It's uh, it's after eleven. Did you did y'all hear about the guy with the five penises? No. His pants fit like a glove. Ah. Uh, just, uh, <laughs> perfect joke. Now that OJ has passed, after the OJ passing, that's a relevant joke. <laughs> <laughs> like a glove. <laughs> Got a double out of that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell him what he wins, Johnny. <laughs> Speak, speaking of my music on the side, though, I wasn't kidding. I have a band called 999 Megabytes. So far, no gigs. Oh, but a bum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Levi liked it. it. Tony, you like that one too? Hey, Tony Cobb, she liked my joke. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm available at Caroline's on Tuesday. <laughs> the ha ha. Mm -hmm. We should uh -oh. have a night where we all do like amateur comedy. Yeah, well, I'd love it. Well, well, have you heard about the guy who stole the calendar? No. He, oh. he got 12 months. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. People in that jail would love that going one. Rate. That is the I think going. If you told them in jail, like people would be like, oh, that's, that's good. That's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because time is all we have here. We got with... a calendar and one picture every month to look at. <laughs> yes. I'm actually, was... I'm actually worried about the calendar because its Ooh. days are numbered. Wow. Oh. wow. You gotta love the that's follow true. up. If you can I, add to another joke, that's pretty good. I once <laughs> spoke inside a prison. I had a captive audience. Ooh. I did. <laughs> Very nice. Man, that was good. <laughs> yeah, I uh I would love to do like a night where we could like have like a little comedy, you know, where we could uh I, I, I would really like to do it. You know, like Kenny's always talking about doing karaoke and he lives close enough where I, I might Hell actually yeah. do it. Oh, sorry. Heck yeah. I would, I'm, I'm for it. You know, I don't mind getting out and singing and stuff. Sometimes you, if you read my Facebook post, we'll, we'll drop karaoke night, you know, on the, you know, with the cops and, um, <laughs> well, the the and, West Coast. and stuff. Um, You're on the East coast. Aridale? Yeah. Yeah. I'm in North Carolina. Okay. That's right. That's right. I should know yeah. that. But I keep I keep on wanting to do something, you know, like I think I could be a comedian. I really think I could be funny if I work hard at it, start doing push-ups, I could start running around the block now. I think I can I can I can, I can, I can 
<laughs> I think I can train hard and I think I can get it right. If you I wore that I Borat can, bikini, I think I like can. you did that one Halloween. I thought it was hilarious. yeah. I'm oh man, you, you had a Borat bikini. Bryant rocks that <laughs> on a Saturday just for fun. Right. You know, as I'm telling my family this, they, they keep telling me, you're not going to do it. You're lazy. And yeah, then I, 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 I tell them, you know, after arguing with them for a minute, I give up, you know. So, I mean, I guess they're right, you know, to a certain point. But. They go to open open mic, man. Go ahead. Hey, shoot your shot. Write your, write your stuff no, down. I, I've been I doing do, that since high school. Yeah, <laughs> I do. I do MCs, uh, MCing for, for events, for church and, and different things, man. I just I write, you know. People 20 really or 30 of them down. And you. They, hey, man, if you got some material, if you're funny out there, hey, you can do it. Speaking do of it. funny, why do the ghosts, why do ghosts love the Apollo? Why do ghosts love the Apollo, Kenny? Because of all the booze. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you get more booze at the Apollo. Now, don't go yeah. to the, don't start off at the yeah. Apollo. <laughs> That's when you go when you think you've made. That's it when like, you when you think you when you really got it all together. Go four, yeah. five, ten times first. You'll get sweeped out of then, that. because if that's your first night, man, it's it's uh, PTSD from this point forward. I used to watch right? that after Saturday Night Live. Oh man, wait. With like, uh, they had Steve Harvey as host. They had uh, Sinbad for a little bit. Sinbad. They had some, oh yeah, yeah, they had some great. You come hosts. out, you rub, you rub the, the you rub the rock. Right? Yeah, you rubbed it the the the, the trunk. It was there. like a log, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and then, boy, they let you have it if if it ain't and they know within seconds. Yeah. That's how I judge football talent. I'm like the Apollo guy. I know within seconds if this guy can play or this is a terrible thing. Boo! And they are merciless. They will. So, so sad. The end, yeah. the road. And then the Sandman comes out yeah. and sweeps you on up. <laughs> with a push broom. <laughs> come out. No, that was Elvis's song. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, that was it. Was it. Like, yeah, that guy was great. Yeah, I just, I really want to try it. I think it'd be fun. Um, I think I'm funny. I, I, I was talking to my mom the other day. She says you're not funny. And I said I'm funny. She's like funny looking. My sister started <laughs> laughing. She said goofy. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Like. I, I do have a little bit of a lazy eye. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. Sometimes, you know, when I am talking, I notice people will look over their shoulder. And sometimes, you know, of course, I have it when I'm on screen. You know, I do have that, like, little nervous tick. We're just talking YouTube, and every once in a while, I'll look over stream, and I'll be like, yeah, what is that guy looking at, you know, in the mirror, right? You know, because, like, the camera is. But, you know, no, I, I think it takes a lot of courage. And I think, you know, if you can write down something, you know, I've written down a lot of stuff and. I don't know what happened. It was either on a napkin or something, but it got washed away or whatnot. But we'll find out, you know. Um, you know, maybe, maybe you know, you never know. You know, the moon could be really made of cheese, or maybe the stars are a little bit closer than we think. And you know, um, I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna keep on trying to be me. And uh, if people don't think I'm funny, well, at least I'm fun to be around, right? Yeah, go to go to sure. open mic night, man. Go ahead, show, man, shoot your shot, man. Hey, get that paper. But definitely wear the Borat bikini. Definitely. He's a wild and crazy guy. See, you know, Borat, when he came out, he was, he was really controversial. A lot of people kind of either really liked him or really didn't like him. Dude, Dude he, the guy he had was, his penis in some guy's face. Yeah, man, he was showing up at, like, dignified events and getting <laughs> stuff made. You know, some of that stuff, you know, he was, like, interviewing Dick Cheney. and I actually you know, know he was Ali G. <laughs> That cracked me up. Oh. He would be like a like a white like a uh what I guess he's like what was he playing like a Pakistani London yeah rapper, he was a wannabe he, rapper. he made the uh he made the Madonna video you know and he was he in was, there with like he was, he got and like Ted Kennedy interviews and hey stuff. you're how like how did he interviews how did he book the interview right, that's what I, maybe it was HBO but I don't know if it was HBO yeah it was HBO was it? it was HBO yeah that's probably why but yeah he was great Boy, rat. Man, Borat, man, he's crazy. Uh, what's his real name? Um, Sasha Baron Cohen. He's Sasha in the great movie Cohen, yeah. Talladega Nights. Yes, he's good. He's great. He's a, he's a really good actor, man. Fine actor. <laughs> and usually, usually comedians can make that that transition better than I say. Comedians and rappers can make a transition into acting better than almost a polished. 
you know, theater actor because yeah. they they know timing and they, they know and and they know how to get into an attitude of a of a song and and become what they're seeing. They they, they are living that life so much. Yeah, it's and, nice and, when you can uh, be sociable. Some people are just not very good. Yeah, yeah, they got like Asperger's or something, and just yeah. Say, like, hey man, I'm just pulling your leg. No, you're not. My leg's right here. Oh, yeah, they're very mm -hmm. technical. So you're inaccurate. I call them mouth breathers and booger eaters. <laughs> booger eaters. Uh, <laughs> when when they're mean and negative, you know, I yeah, I I keep a couple in the chamber <laughs> for such bad acts. It takes a lot, you know, to turn somebody. Sorry, David. It does. It takes a lot to um, turn someone's attitude up, you know, or change it, you know. And it sometimes when people's been hurting for such a long time or upset, you know, like a bad haircut, a bad haircut could affect somebody for a long time. You, man, my hair was so beautiful. I just needed to go and get it trimmed up, and now you messed me up. Now I got to go back, and I got to go to somebody different because you didn't cut me straight right here. So now I got to go back and I got to get somebody else to cut my hair. And why? Because I was looking in the mirror and it looked like I was looking over that way. No, you cut my hair straight. Okay. And then, you know, so now I got to go back and get my hair cut. But it's not about me, guys. But what I'm saying is. <laughs> I sense I sense a lot of personal on that one. I, I, I kind of. I've been shaving you know, my own head for 20 it's, years. It's, 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 no, okay. I just, I, it's just like that though. You know, it's. It is, but sorry, David. Oh, you're good. You're, you're good, buddy. You just you know, the, the computers went down at work today. Oh man! So all, all the office ladies had to do everything manually, right? Oh, it that's took how I like twenty when minutes to yeah. shuffle the cards for solitaire. Take that back. Oh, <laughs> but I'm bum. <laughs> <laughs> I still think I still like things done manually to me. So. Instead of automatic. I see a lot of automatic it, things. It, out there. It, like, it 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 is after eleven, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> on the East Coast. I was watching YouTube. It wasn't even you know, <laughs> naughty TV or anything. And this product came up. It was ridiculous. It was in my shorts. I couldn't even believe what it was. Wow. <laughs> I, hey, hey, uh, the Masters is going on. I played golf the other day. I hit two of my best balls. I stepped on a rake. Oh, <laughs> the Masters. <laughs> you know, I used to shave my head. And I, I used to shave it because um, the job I had, people would come in. They would be, you know, I worked in retail. And people would come in and they'd be mean to me. And, you know, I have my, my hair. It's all, you know nice and you know nice right you know you can run your fingers through my hair and you know i got that you know i don't know you david david hasselhoff or whatever you want you know like i got that uh -huh. super uh -huh. i got that clark kent hair you know where it's just like it doesn't matter you know I'm just like right and people and i've got glasses and i you know my face is shaven people just come in they run over me they just are mm -hmm. super mean to me right and I, i'm like okay so then I grow my little facial hair out, right? You know, like a little cat cat hair or whatever you want to call it. And uh, <laughs> next thing you know, I, I shaved my head, right? And not because I really wanted to, but because it was recommended by other people. So I did it, right? Totally I just made everybody in my family upset that I had no hair. But guess what <laughs> happened when I was what, uh, people weren't, Yeah. <laughs> people weren't mean to me. Respect. They weren't. And I yeah, was still yeah. the same person. I wasn't mean. I was still kind and everything. But uh, having a little bit of facial hair here and no hair on my head, um, yeah, I don't know if I look like a, a like I don't know a skinhead. I don't know what you want to call me, you know, but uh, a cone head or whatever you want to call me. But uh, look I, like I, the dude that ain't to be effed with is what right? you look like. Yeah, yeah <laughs> that you guy got, is serious. You got a Mr. Don't, don't mess with that dude. Uh, redo right. But, you know, looking like, I guess, you know, Brock Purdy, you know, I guess you would say, you know, um, oh, that, I, I'm the one yeah. I'm the one to mess with. Right. Yeah. But they're like, oh, that guy. Uh, if I look more like that. Jeff Garcia or Jose Cortez. Right. You Go know, they don't want to mess with me. <laughs> 
it, 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 you know, people judge the book by the cover, man. They do. They're, you know, m- more than likely wrong, but that that's what they do. Your your persona can come in a room and they think, oh, this guy's got it together. Look, he's wearing a suit. Look, oh, or, or this guy. Oh, look at him, man. He's he's got dirty shoes. This hmm. guy doesn't doesn't care about anything. He's going to kill everybody in here. It, it, it just fits the description, you know, and. They make their observations on your appearance. You know, they, they say you never get a chance, a second chance to make a first impression. People, people do it just like that all the time. That's why most people don't like me. Yeah, you that look kind of like that was a you, joke. You look like a, a aviator <laughs> to me. You look like the guy who who flies the chopper in Magnum PI. We need <laughs> we need a chopper pilot. Was, Get that guy. <laughs> Just a random guy who can pilot. Yeah. So he's a pilot somewhere. Shady. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He's, he, <laughs> he's, he's moved some product. Get that dude. <laughs> I've flown over Florida and Columbia thousands of times. Yeah. I, I know the route well. <laughs> we got to get the dots, man, on uh, the recent breaking news. And you are the guy to ask. On OJ? No. Oh, <laughs> oh! I talked about him on my show though, but but I digress. Are you ready? I, he, Are you ready? No. Go ahead. All right. Tom Brady's calling. Oh. Are you answering the phone? That's the goat, man. Are you That's answering the goat. I, currently I, right now? Because he just come out and said I wouldn't be opposed. Uh, you know what? He's bored. Yeah. His, his girl he, he moved up. Not a cat. What women do. Not women a cat he can't take care of. They're going to give him a cat in, in Las Vegas or something? Because before it was a kitty cat, right? And that's why he didn't want to come out of retirement. And I said up and down, it was because the, the, the Buccaneers don't want to release his contract rights. And if he has to come back in, then he has to go play for the Bucks, right? Well, that contract's gone. So he can move around. I. If if it's him, I would think he would go to. Isn't he part owner of the Raiders? Yeah. So I could see know, him owning multiple teams in the future. Tom Brady was the league. Tom Brady's my guy, man. But I I I love Brock, man. Brock's my dude. But yeah. Tom Brady's Tom Brady's my guy, yeah. all time. But you know, I hate Tom Brady and Mike. Um, I'm answering it out of respect. I ask, and I love Michael Jordan. I got the Michael Jordan. See the uh, the poster there. Yeah. Uh, I I've missed nine thousand shots. I've lost three hundred games. Twenty six times I was chosen to take the game winning shot and missed. <laughs> that is why I succeed. Jerry oh. Jerry Rice is one of the only greats that I actually like. Because I usually don't like the greats. I like people that were like stomped on by the greats. Reggie Miller, Carl Malone, Joe Dumars. You know what I'm saying? Like these people who like were good at the time and just yes. like stomped by the great. great. I know, man. And it's and, very and hard. We Brock is if we don't get our stuff together, that Brock is setting up to be that with to Patrick Mahomes, you know. Yeah. We so, got we gotta get our stuff together. <laughs> so if if Mr. Tom Brady calls and asks to speak to the Niners, Jed or John or Kyle, right? We almost have to, we almost have to do it, right? Because this is like the third time we would be saying no. Yeah. I'm going to say no again. He could come coach. Right? <laughs> I'll be it the guy that fire. It, you know when you hire a guy to fire everybody? I'm that guy. Yeah. I will come <laughs> and <that guy. laughs> I'll come around. Yeah. 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 You're the Turk. I've already fire, said the fire, reason fire, why fire. Tom's not guy, coming. You're all right. He, he's you're not cool. Kyle's type. <laughs> His middle name is not Richard. That's true. Oh, you got to be a dick. It's Edward oh. Patrick. He actually yeah, has to two be a dick. Name. So you have James Richard Garoppolo and you have Brock Richard Purdy. Yeah. You got to not they Tom both Richard both Brady, it's Thomas Edward Patrick Brady. So, so he just, he doesn't fit the mold. 
No. So if if you don't have a dick in the middle, right? You need a dick in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> or it just don't work. <laughs> you heard it here. Folks. You're you're not. <laughs> it's tight. I got yeah. you. <laughs> There it is. Wow, no, I think you have to say yes. We're yeah. like scientists in a room right there. We worked that out. <laughs> yes, that was nice. <laughs> but you you take the call, BC. You take the call, man. But yeah, you take it. But you're gonna have to you're gonna have to tell I him. I put him on hold and do the cable guy. Do, 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 do. And just I sing. I think you almost have to say yes and uh, sign the Golden Gate Bridge over to him, Alcatraz, Treasure Island. and uh, Hey, now that's an idea. Can we have a game and perhaps even our stadium in Alcatraz? Oh, that'd be cool. So you want to know what's fun about, would that be? You know what's fun about Treasure Island? Hmm. Treasure Island's in between Oakland and San Francisco. And yeah. it was where the 49ers and Oakland Raiders met to uh, have the coin flip, the first in our the first game ever. It was done. Wow. At, it was done at Treasure Island. Very That's nice. a bit of trivia. Wow. That, there, look at look at the brain on Brett. Big brain on Brett. <laughs> yeah. Cool. I always thought they yeah. should have like a stadium there because it's it's kind of um it's a um it's a military uh, base. It's the, Pres uh, the Presidio. Hmm. Yeah. Great right. movie too, Sean Connery. It's uh it's sinking. Oh, it is? <clears throat> Treasure Island Treasure Island's a man made island and okay. it, is, it is sinking. So and you just go over there and you pour sand all around it. That's what they do in China. They build islands. And if your cell phone dies, you put rice in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, that's right. That's right. You actually put it in a bowl, right? So if it gets all, uh, you guys want to know what's even yeah, that, that thing has brought back some. I had some these headphones, these Beats headphones, man. I was swimming and they got wet. I, I immediately just get, I resurrected them just like Jesus. I put them in there for three days and, and some rice. They, they're talking today. Yeah, man. They have those that, little that, rice is real. that come in like bacon and pepperoni and stuff and they say don't eat they're these little salt packets nothing absorbs yeah. moisture like those things i'm i have a a ziploc full of those things oh wow yeah okay. and i'm gonna show you so you know i'm not lying i'll be right back no, <laughs> we don't even, we don't actually, even have a name there, there's actually a bucket of those things at my work here we go brother look there, at that there you go Oh yeah, yeah, there's a bucket of those things at my mouth. Not food. Bucket that... away from there, your oh. mouth will be. Man, yeah, you'll no, have dry mouth for us shipping. <laughs> Don't smoke any weed, okay. here, David. Okay, cool. Yes. Yeah, man. And 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 we don't know what to call them, but everybody knows what it is. Think about what? those things in life that you don't you don't have a name for, but everybody I'm, knows what it the is. They're the thing I almost eat when I'm dumping bacon bits. In my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> What was that? Was I supposed to eat that? <laughs> the little things that come in aspirin that <laughs> you're like the sharpest thing in your pepperoni packet. That's that's those things. Yes. Oh man. So what's your guys' thoughts on Mars? All right. So supposedly there's no magnet uh there's no magnet the 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 world lost its mag uh magnet magnetic the, field. Thank you. And that's what allowed the water. To dry up, so that's why we don't have water on uh, on Mars. But what's funny and what they uh, what's interesting to me is in Chernobyl, they had all this radioactivity because of the the you know 1986 you know uh, accident, right? But then they found out, they found out two uh, years later that there was spores, mushrooms growing on a, a silo or somewhere or in Chernobyl. And so they found out that there's mushrooms growing there and there's plant life and there's animal activity. So what they are thinking is, is the radioactive um, climate, if they were to introduce mushrooms to Mars, it could potentially turn around Mars's climate. Mushrooms were here before us and they could communicate with each other. Fact. Is, is that crazy? Wow. That is crazy. Send them some bunch of mushrooms. I like uh it's like getting high. Yeah, you if they need get, someone to test you mushrooms, you can get a planet high. high. 
Well, so if you was to potentially like in, in you know, um, plant a bunch of mushrooms right there on Mars and they were to take off, because right now currently there doesn't seem to be anything growing on Mars. <laughs> and if you put mushrooms on Mars and they were able to reduce the radiation that's on Mars. But well, wait, didn't, didn't right? they grow potatoes on Mars? That was the Martian. Oh, is that, but he was he on Mars that was, or was that he was a, a movie? movie? Yeah, he was on a movie. I think he okay. grew him with, he yeah, grew him inside know, like a different thing. Things that are in a movie usually are real. They usually, <laughs> they usually just come like 50 years after. <laughs> like the Star Trek thing, remember? He was like just beam, looking into his phone. The holograms. Yeah. All, all that shit. It just yeah. took time. <laughs> this is another joke I'm trying to work out. I haven't got all the details and stuff like that. But if you look at Super Mario, right? There's something oh, to be oh. said. If, it's you look, a if you look at the nursery rhymes and stuff like that, you, and, and they, they all in older religions and, and culturals, they talk about mushrooms. They talk about mushrooms, right? So there's something that they say that happens in the mind after someone takes it, then it unlocks something and people can now they're refocused, they're rewired, and they look at the world in a different light. But right, what are they telling the kids? Are they gearing the kids up for like a a culture shock or something to embrace, you know, to, to make it lighter and lighter. When you tell somebody about something and you say it's okay, and then you say it's it, it's it's okay, it's okay, and it's like less and less dangerous to a certain point. And I'm mm -hmm. not saying that that's it, but what I'm getting at is, is you look at the fairy tales and the nursery rhymes, they had that that weird mushroom. It was like the red mushroom with the dots and stuff on it. And then Mushrooms you are all water. At, then you look at, you look at uh, Super Mario. What are they trying to teach our kids? You, you eat a mushroom, you get to grow super tall, you get all these like magic powers, you can fly, you know, you eat a flower, you have you, no, he smoked that flower. Okay, you know, it just happened very fast and you didn't see it, but he used to smoke that flower. He didn't eat it. And, and then it, he had fireballs and he could jump high. Yes, and it's really crazy because there's there's um toads or frogs that have the same, you know, psychoactive drug in their their spit their their uh sweat there's you know um yeah you're their right there's a lot yeah and the, the the mario game again you go back to all those little things i said a flower a mushroom licking a frog now ideally you don't see him lick a frog in the mario game but it's still the same concept and then you gain these magical powers i mean i think it happens it just happens too fast for us to see it so <laughs> and and subliminals subliminals are our planet and uh I, hear I, I can attest that i growing up i used to watch popeye and he always used to eat spinach and now when i go to the doctor guys if you have to get your blood pressure lowered start eating oh, spinach leafy greens two days before and it'll knock about 10 points off your blood pressure. I love spinach. Uh, and Brussels spinach Brussels. is good. Spinach, and canned spinach or fresh spinach. So, you know, it, it's been there over time. And uh, maybe it is a little something to it. I don't know if the, the designer uh, intentionally did it, but you could have something. Uh, you could have something. I don't like it. I don't like it when you look at it like that. Kind of makes it like, oh, okay. Well, it's making it easier and easier to accept, or something like that, right? At first, you seen the boys and girls bathroom that was distinguished. But now it's starting to be like you don't know what the dress means anymore. Now there's yeah. two. Like, there's I just go. Like, if somebody's looking, I just say, "Hey, what's up?" And then I finish and go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. That's how they do it. Real subliminal and just subtly, subtly. Uh, the Bible speaks of the 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 accuser, the devil. He is very subtle and just gets you in the norm. Starts with some comedies and the Prince of all Love. of a sudden you're you're like, whoa, what what happened here? Are we doing this now? But it's it's little things. Uh, Jerry Falwell used to say, "Hey, hey, those Teletubbies, watch out for those Teletubbies. They're doing they were stuff. <laughs> idolaters." Yeah, watch out for them teletubbies, <laughs> especially that purple one. <laughs> we were like, "Oh yeah. man, what do you talk about?" Those things came out. I was like, yeah. "What's the big deal with this Barney guy? Like, they love yeah. him." And I don't think we had anything like that because we had Sesame Street, and that was like a million different people. It wasn't one puppet. 
Yeah, it had, it had like the one couple up against so and, weird. And the count, you learn something with Sesame Street, man. You count yeah. it. Uh <laughs> You know, and the uh, electric company. Do you remember the electric company? Oh, yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. 12. And, and then, I forgot who sang that. I think it Morgan was Morgan Freeman. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Mo what? Well, Morgan Freeman was on. Uh, he was easy reader. You learn how to he, read. The one in the 80s, reader. there was like one where it was a pinball machine and you would follow a number and it would go all yes. around the thing. Yes. And I think the women who sang it was the Pointer Sisters or one of the Pointer Sisters, something like that. I swear. You gotta look that up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Look it up. It was some great. It was some, it was some real good talent on we there. Had I, used good to, stuff. I yeah. love Maria. Maria. I don't know if oh, she was, it was Electric Company or says Good Lord. Yeah, I think Mary. it was Sesame Street. I, I was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. Who is that woman? I'm tuning in. Did <laughs> she work at the grocery store? I think it was. She would just be all around the neighborhood, the neighborhood. And, and see Oscar every now and again. I know and why it's a beautiful just... day in the neighborhood because Maria. Yes, Maria was. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember Romper Room. Did you get that in? Yeah, okay. yeah. I remember Romper Room and uh... the Mad Garden and all this stuff? Because when we were little, if you're older, there was only a few shows. Now you can tune in and tune on apps. 24 for hours a day. Hundreds yes. of thousands of cartoons, but we had like five. Millions. Yes. We watched them all. Mr. Rogers Neighborhood, Captain Kangaroo, uh, Romper Room, and yeah, you better uh, you better get out there and get a job. <laughs> history. If you had cable, you would get Fraggle Rock, which was another I, Muppets. Yeah, I did have Fraggle Rock. Yeah. yeah. And River River Bottom yeah, Nightmare yeah. Band. Oh yeah, because that was Emmett Otter's Christmas. Emmett Otter's Christmas. That yeah. day was fire. They ain't no hole in the wash tub. That was the song. And then they were poor. <laughs> and the mom was trying to sell stuff on the river and she yeah. it for free, even though she needs money. And like it was cool. Man, that Jay was fire. I, I was in high school. I was loving that. Yeah, that band was good. That electric eel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they went through, you know, they 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 the details were there and they went all out for the kids back in the day. Yeah, man. Sorry yeah, to they, cheap they, out. They used to get down, man. Schwartz. Because uh, we were all ready all for guys. kindergarten. Like little kids were ready for kindergarten just from watching PBS. But like kids yeah. today go to school and no shit. <laughs> what are they gonna learn like uh, you gotta watch like the right shows or like kids don't know like anything unless you know you He's a really good day. parenting skills here's the day you go to school don't know shit i mean you send a kid to school at five you know that's really young to put them in someone else's care it's scary so this yeah. is kind of cool my daughter right there's this program going around called abc mouse and I was I was um, at home taking care of her at the time. I didn't have a job. I was the I was babysitting her, not babysitting her. I was raising her. My wife was uh, the one working at the time. Not my happiest moment in my life, but I did have a lot of fun with my daughter. Right, but her being three years old and me probably being in my feelings a little bit. You know, I was going to the store and buying beer a lot. Well, I looked at it one day and I seen that there was this ad for ABC Mouse. So, you know, thinking, you know, hey, it's only like seven bucks or something like that for this, this for a month, you know, like that's a six pack, you know, and I think that would be something fun to, to do with her. Right. So what I did is we got a tablet and she was three years old and was able to learn how to read. What? My daughter can. Yeah. So that's, um, about, that's what I'm talking about. For a couple of months, but the program really did teach her how to read. And I sat yeah. there on the couch and you I was at a young age. She got to play and do everything on the thing. And when she needed help, I sat there and I helped her. But for the most part, it was not a babysitter because I was, you know, right there next to her, but it was something interactive for her to do. So she's really good at electronics and, and different things. And I keep telling her, you know, you should be a writer. You should be an author because you, you have the ability, you know, to, yeah. to create something support that support that um my daughter holly we're going to be getting her into the same program now there was a funny thing that happened with the company they 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 had a software glitch and they kept charging us for a short period of time and then they ended up having a um i don't know if it was a class action lawsuit or but there was a rebate and everybody got a check there so i got you know like a couple dollars back for a couple of months of non-payment so still shout out to abc mouse not sponsored but great program i i but we uh, love it we love it if they sponsor yeah i i uh, highly recommend them 
I really do. And from the price to, you know, again, their kid, it's a kid's program and it's, a, it's a, like a preschool program for your child and it really does. It works. So David, thank you so much for the time. Shout out to ABC mouse. <laughs> Very nice. ABC mouse. ABC mouse. Hey, I know someone that got a job at a paperless office. Wow. They said it was great until they had to use the bathroom. Oh, yeah. Because you can only you have to wear at least one sock home, right? So you can't <laughs> use your sock every day. <laughs> Don't have holes in your socks, folks, just in case there's no toilet paper somewhere. Oh, boy, that's a that's little, a... little tip from your cousin Kenny. Well, what I was wondering is, is why did the nurse need a red pen? No clue. The only thing I could figure out is in case she needed to draw blood. Wow. A little, little morbid, but sorry. Why did the banana go to the doctor? He wasn't peeling well. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm bum. <laughs> yeah, we need sound effects. Hey, it's good to turn it's like It's like I always tell new hires, don't think of me as your boss. Think of me as your friend who can fire you. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, this thing doesn't even work anymore. I gotta get rid of this old box. Need some output. If I give it some... Mm. Hey, this is a fun one. What is Whitney Houston and Dolly Parton's favorite coordination? What? I will always and, love Wait, wait. Hand I. Hand I. That was good. Nice. Nicely done. Hand I. It's good stuff. And, uh, <laughs> what a ridiculous question. <laughs> I think I can do that. I'll put this here. So, uh, what do you guys think about the other breaking 49ers news? Kyle got fired? No. Never. The one it. that I'm, <laughs> I'm currently keeping a tab of how many people actually report because we had another wide receiver do it. Now, I'm not dogging anyone who's done it. It's what you do, you know? <clears throat> But uh, we had another receiver do it, Debo. So he scrubs the 49ers from his Instagram. I, what what do you guys think? Hold on a second. Let, let's get your uh, let's get your level of give a crap. Mm. And we're going one to ten. You wow. know, one being the least, ten being the highest. Terror Dome, let's start with you. Um, it is a three for me. That that particular act. It is right out of the uh, page. You know, uh, I've, I've watched hostage negotiation movies, and and they have a a set form of what a, a, a you know a hostage taker will do, and then you have a proportional response <laughs> to you know. Okay, at at this point, we're gonna cut the power. At this point, we're gonna you know send them a cell phone. All right, now we got to get food for the hostages, and we're gonna sneak protocols. Uh, yeah, yeah, these protocols you're gonna yeah. do. The 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 scrubbing of the Instagram is like protocol number two. We, yeah, it's we, like another level. We gotta, you know, we gotta escalate here. This sends a, a clear message, and now the 49ers have to come up about five million dollars. That that's what that. So, so we're, we're, we're okay. Something here, I could be 100% wrong. This doesn't happen with Brock. Brock is not going to unfollow the Niners. He isn't going to throw no. any hissy fits. His no. wife isn't going to be calling the team and, and yelling no. at him for not treating her husband good. It's not going to happen. Different dude. Two it's different very, it's dudes. Silly. It's silly it, stuff. It, 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 ain't, it ain't what they do. It, 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 I, I, you know. Debo did the same thing. It's all just like these games. Some would say it breaks on racial lines. Some say 
you know, maybe it's position. Why did I, they, I don't remember why, Nick why, Bosa. Why bother, to, why bother lowballing this, them? Don't this, lowball them. It's an insult. This is what they do. They always insult you with the lowball. They, you know, the guy's coming it's off like, all you know, pro season. He's never been injured. You can't find another one in the draft. You're not going to get anyone in free agency. He's one of one. If you got the money, pony up, give him his change. Let's move on. Let's move He's forward. He's got to stay at least but, this year. At least this year. But he, no, he you know, go anywhere. This, this is what Parag and those guys do is straight out of their playbook. So he's got a counter with that, you know, and he has get, no leverage at all. And I, the can, they, the can they tag him two years in a row? Yes, this is wow. this is his leverage. And, and there's a fifth year option that's so three look at years. This, what's I gonna mean, happen? We have, we BA's have gonna leverage, have to, we can have him for potentially seven years. BA is gonna have to take a hit probably to get out of here, and he's not gonna want to be here after being. Low ball and franchise tag twice. Yeah, he's gonna play about as good as we can hope he does. This guy's not gonna give us a hundred percent. He's yeah. he's gonna have to get what he wants, or we have to get rid of him. It's just but the way he, it is. It's just the way it play, is. If he plays that's business, business, that's his leverage. That's his leverage. Thing, that's just it. Like, look, you can have if you want Jordan, you got to pay for Jordan. That's just what it is. If you want a high quality product, you're gonna have to pay that's, a lot. That's the okay. going market, and that's why we gotta. Yeah. A quarterback who makes eight hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. We're supposed to be able to sign every, you know, the the pieces that we want, uh, and be a little different than every other team. But if if you start paying the quarterback forty million, you, you ain't got to worry about it anymore. The cap is a balloon, so you better get it now. You're not going to get it later. If you're mm-hmm. close, go ahead and get it. The deal is the deal is for a year. You better do what you got to do and lock it up because or, or sign them long term. Once the math changes, it's over. Sign them long term, so, give that, him what he wants, true. and in the first couple of years, don't pay him much like you do with everybody. So why would it not be beneficial for Ayuk to get tagged two years? Right? Think about this. Right? You know, Kirk Cousins kind of situation. Right? You It'd be good for us. <laughs> you get franchise tag, and then what happens to your franchise tag player? They get paid. You know the top three positions of that. You know the players. Isn't it the top five? Team. I think it's average of the top five. Contracts average of the top five. Yeah. Is it now five? Because it yes, was. Yeah. It's average of the top five contracts. Is what yeah. Have you guys noticed what's been Even happening? If top five. Even if it's the top five, Brandon Ayuk is he a top five wide receiver in the NFL? He's close. He could be close. Okay, we we you won't may- argue with that, right? He, he is close, he, definitely. Darn if close. He sits out, if he chooses to sit out year five, year six, year seven, that hurts him. That doesn't hurt the Niners. The Niners will put another player out there. What's going to hurt us is the roster spot not being utilized, but it'll hurt him. This is going to be a, a Ladavian Bell, Latavian Bell situation where the Steelers players yeah. sit out and then it only hurt him because you're not getting any tread on your tires. You're only getting older. And then to, like with Teradum's point, and, or or to back on both of you, what you guys said, the position them scrubbing their Instagram. I don't think this is a racial thing. Yeah, Debo did it, and so did uh, now. Ba's doing it, but they're also Kittle, young men. Don't forget they're young. Kittle and did it. Fred Warner, right? Those two are different colors, right? Right? They didn't do it. Wait, both Fred Warner did you? Fred Warner. They came. They no. got. They got Fred Warner's though. They they he didn't he didn't Fred, have to. They, Here's Fred, the thing. If Fred they really want right to, away. Fred didn't get paid right away, but he didn't get, you know, all crazy out there to either. And why we didn't panic is because Fred went to practice. But Fred did get paid, but it, he had to wait a little bit. Everybody has to wait a little bit. And that's my point. Fred Warner's not the same color as Kittle or Debo or, or you know, George Kittle. Kittle and, and um, Kittle and... Fred Warner are two different colors. But he Trent is a different color. Trey Trey Lance is a different color, right? But Trey Lance, he asked to leave, as far as we understand. He asked to get be traded. Can I interject for just one moment? The only reason we're different, the only reason we're different colors is because some of our ancestors stayed in one place longer than they than other people. We're all the same. Yeah. Very much could be, yeah. But so I don't think there's a there, racial there, there, element. There, but I, I have to address the racial element in the Absolutely. room. Absolutely. I'm not saying it's no, no, you no. know I'm not saying everything. I'm black, y'all. There. I'm black, y'all, and I'm blacker than black, and I'm yeah. black. Y'all. I ain't trying to be that brother, but no. there are some racial components 
there's some positional components. There are some things that exist when dealing with the San Francisco 49ers and some money. And I have to uh, uh, I think say I think what you said about the position, yeah, I the position, and you know this, and, 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 and there is an age, there is an age component to this. This is what they do. They stay on IG. This is how they communicate. They text. My son is their age. He don't. Call, he can be having a. He yeah, they grew up different. They grew up different. Hanging off a cliff, and he would text. That he's hanging off a cliff rather than... Dad, I'm hanging off a cliff right now. <laughs> yeah. And, and he's then like, he I'm going would... to live stream it. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is just what they do. Yeah, I said, that's how they were Look, raised. It's a phone. Call me. and Talk to me what's happening. It, it, was, I, it was an emergency. They don't even and... look at their own eyes just through the thing. Like, yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> but so Just move your thing is, and you can see. It's what, it's right. what young men do. It's... Yeah, it's just the way. That's just their way. It's not their yep. fault. Yeah. Uh, honestly, uh, out of all the players I've ever heard reported to do it, okay, it's always a wide receiver. I don't think it has anything to do with anything else. Why is it always a wide receiver? They're the furthest I mean, away from the ball. <laughs> they, they, they are. It, man, we've been going through this. We were spoiled with Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice had his moments sometimes. It's Jerry Rice Day, and and T.O.'s getting all the, the daggone touches. He's setting a record on Jerry Rice Day. Jerry Rice felt some kind of way. Throw me the ball. Keyshawn, yeah. Keyshawn wrote, throw me the ball. They receivers. They this like the guitar. The divas do. They are the, the, the divas of – the NFL, OBJ, all of them. This is what they do. You can like expect class, it. Class they had three guys. Not when it's not that way. They had three guys covering Jerry Rice on his last day as a San Francisco 49er. Three guys. That's why Owens was able to break the record and get the numbers that he got. That's and they, they they admitted it. They the opposite team admitted it. They said we covered him with three guys, and Jerry Rice still scored a touchdown at the end of the game. Jerry still, still want he <laughs> want the ball. I don't care. I'm Jerry Rice. They have to believe that way. And if a receiver don't believe that way, I don't want nothing to do with him. But I need I, 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 they were trying I need to the, I need the cockiest sob on this field with the best moves and the best hands and. I want him to know it and feel that he can one-on-one, two-on-one, three-on-one beat anybody in this league. I need you to have that confidence. I need a cornerback, a cornerback with amnesia because you're going to get beat once. I want him to have a short-term memory that's about as uh, short as a, a, a thimble filled with rice. I need him to forget about it and go. That's, this is the people you need this the personality type you need if he gets stuck off a bad play and and can't get over it and can't recover from somebody burning him once man he, he gotta go he gotta go it's just the nature of the position i gotta have that i need a right tackle who says i am the baddest mf -er out here i look to physically impose my will on little linebackers and DBs and make a statement that when they look at that film next week, the next team, I want them to say, I don't want no part of that bad SOB. That's a right tackle. That's you gotta have a chip. You gotta have a big chip yeah. on your shoulder because nobody's getting around me. That's the personality you need. I think it does. It just it has to break down to the position. I don't necessarily believe it's the color of the person's skin. I believe it's the position. Sometimes it can. It can be. And I think you yeah. have to look at each case by case. Absolutely. It, it breaks down to the mentality. Here's of the, the thing. They, it's not a problem when position. they really want you, right? You have it doesn't to, matter what color you are. If, you have if, somebody if, who if you're the is, best, it's not a problem. They, they'll pay you whatever. If you have somebody who's playing a certain type of position, they have to be that kind of crazy, right? You want to, you want to, like he was just saying, you want a dog at certain positions, right? You know, you mm -hmm. want somebody to say, I want the ball when it's crunch time. You don't want that Dante Pettis over there, cat man, you know, <laughs> you know only open when no one's covering him, right? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Hey, yeah. Prince was Dante a bad Pettis. Prince was a bad <laughs> Hey, get come me the ball, you know. Uh... He's like, doing I don't need that videos guy. while he's playing. All right, all right, but, but hold, hold on, guys. OJ Simpson passed away. Did he? 
OJ. He did. Yeah. And, you, you, you know, he was a great football player. I guess he acted acted in the show or movie. Few I'm, movies. I'm honestly, it, it doesn't come to my mind. I can name them but all. But the one thing he's going to be remembered for is that car chase on the freeway in the Ford Bronco, okay? That was his best one. Everything he did, all his accomplishments. Well, he was pretty good know, in court, too. They got to say, he was pretty entertaining in court as well. Hey, it really was. That was actually at my friend's yeah, house. Yeah, it's the trial, of the, when we the were trial of the century. And that's yeah. all. But as it relates to football, young men, I'm going <laughs> to tell you, as a 54-year-old man and a football fanatic since virtually birth, Oof. In the 1970s, USC, OJ Simpson was it. Yeah, he played running back and he was the truth. Coming out of USC, this guy's a, a four by 100 and 100 meter star in NC2A, probably the fastest guy in the NC2As. He plays for Buffalo. And let me tell you, in 14 games, <laughs> they're still trying to break this stuff. In 14 games, O.J. Simpson put up more than 2,000 yards. OJ. They called him O.J. They called him the juice. And they called his, his offensive line the electric company because they turned on the juice. As a young man, when you went outside and you played football and you got jerseys, you wore number 32. It was a, I got my picture here in high school. I wore 32 in high school because OJ Simpson was the dude. OJ Simpson, man, let me, let me, let me, let me put it into perspective and, and drive it home a little bit. OJ, the juice became a verb. The only thing I could say similar to what you might see it as is you know on espn every uh monday night they have uh you got mossed or it is called to moss somebody when you catch over them yeah. when you were running the ball in the 70s you was juicing the ball he was juicing them mugs out there he was juicing his name That's was a verb up. the same way randy moss was you 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 have to put that into consideration of, of how we're looking at this in two parallel lines. Yes, infamy will follow him forever because of the murders of uh, the effects of three families, the Goldman Nicole. family, uh, Nicole Brown, maybe, Sam, and of course, maybe OJ those shots to the head family, to do with but it. maybe that too, or I, you know, he was found acquitted and it, it broke that too. It broke was a, a court, long it was a court mistake. It, it it was along uh, racial uh, lines. The uh, black folks we uh, loved Johnny Cochran in that courtroom, working them like nobody else's business. <laughs> Ethley Bailey, Barry Shett, he yeah. had a dream team of lawyers, and they broke down how to do it, dissertate. Why do you think we know the else. The LAPD was very very racial, and it might not have been here. Because at the time when OJ was arrested, he he was he wasn't a pillar of the black community. He won't it won't like Tupac, but you know he was looked at kind of as oh he done sold out to the other side. He didn't he, even think of himself as black. He but was the, popular person. But but, but that but that whole uh, stench of racism against black folks was played out by Rodney King. On tape, filmed, and we saw the brutal beating of, of a black man, and then they got off in Simi Valley. We just w wanted to hail, hey, finally, we get some justice. And some people ain't uh, never get it, and they ain't never ever gonna get over it. But I don't understand how you could do that. We, we, we don't have to be seeing that from Rodney King. We done seen it uh, back in the day with Medgar Evers. We done seen it play out uh, with Zimmerman. In Florida, and you know, it mm. it it was just that, and and you can say, well, it, it wasn't race here; it was something else, or so. You can maybe you can pull some other things, but I got about thirteen million uh, <laughs> black folks that say, no, I see a difference in how this played and that played, and for one time, 
a black man got off and will never be the same. Yeah. But that's OJ Simpson. Uh, oh, and you mentioned the Naked Gun. You mentioned uh, Towering Inferno mm -hmm. was great. All these uh, uh, endorsement deals that every athlete has today was because of Orenthal James. He, for Hertz, right? he Hertz? was running for Hertz. He was running for uh, uh, Orange Juice. He, Did he was do getting paid for with Marino. He, the reason Marino got the isotoners was because OJ had the Polaroid. I'm mm -hmm. telling you, this dude oh, he was, was it. He sold he himself was super to forgotten. Every, he did it all. And the reason a lot of them commentate and go to the booth, Orenthal James Simpson was on Monday Night Football when he retired. Orenthal James Simpson played for the San Francisco 49ers. Orenthal James Simpson played for Buffalo. And, yep. you know, I, I, I know thing, people right? still, they, they hate them and they saying really, really cruel and nasty stuff. And I get it. Hey, hey, the man uh, looks to have killed a couple of people, uh, but he got acquitted for it. And what do you want? And he died uh, on the 10th. Hmm. That's my that's my die trap. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I heard OJ about his death. I was like, I, I was like, oh wow, you know, it just it, it makes you it makes you know how mortal you are because you know back back in the day when I was a kid, you know the OJ Simpson, you know the incident happened, the freeway chase, you know all that the the, the trial, which was televised for everybody to see. Oh yeah, you know must see um, TV. I mean, oh, but it, it was have, too. It, it was good. Have, it was it was actually good TV. You know, me me and my friends, we were literally at, at his house, and his grandpa was just blessed. He had hearing problems and refused to get hearing aids, so he's just blasting it, and you know, no matter what, you can hear it, right? Oh, every everybody was watching that, man. Everybody, I think, I think a hundred million eyes were on there. They was. <laughs> Remember Circuit City, and you could stop and see all the TVs and stuff. People were just I, I, I crowding in the different stuff to watch the the decision, and they would go. The news would lead with this. It was stuff happening in the world, but the news would lead with, uh, "Hey, today in the OJ trial, Marsha Clark wore a hideous dress." What does this say? And people's careers were born off of that thing. Uh, who's the one? The, the lady on CNN who I think OJ did it <laughs> and she was a nobody and now she's a content creator uh, for CNN and stuff like that. Well, look, why was, do you think we know the huge. Kardashians? The Kardashians. The only reason. Thank, thank you, Kenny, for nothing else. And this is where my point is. I'm getting this to save the world the Kardashians. I blame TV for all of this because before television, people used to go out as a family to a circus or to a fair or to a carnival. And they used to leave the house and interact with other people for entertainment. The minute entertainment was put in your home where the doors and windows locked, that was the fall of society. Greeks used to have something called symposium where you would go out. To, to drink and philosophize and talk like we're doing all night, but they got dressed up, they cleaned up, they drank, they took their shoes off, they were people, it, it was a thing, like, but now you can you can do, like, we're, what we're doing is not so bad, but when you can go home and, and like, binge, binge watch a show by yourself oh, and yeah. the tub of ice cream and a bag of chips and shit, well, that's no good for us, man. We can't have <laughs> No, no, no. That's and killing it, America. It that's help, just an it? American problem, dude. That's an American problem. And not being able to to communicate on a daily, saying hi to somebody, hey, how's the weather? Oh man, did you see the game? And the the, the interaction, we're yeah. we're losing that a great deal. We're Absolutely. losing that a great deal. I like streets where there are no cars, so that people can talk to each other and interact. But when there's streets, there's cars, there's constant like alerts and alarms and timers for you to move. Like it's, they just want us working, dude. They just want us yeah. work twenty four hours a day. And Amen. looking at this, and looking at this, this little buying box. things on the phone, <laughs> <laughs> scrolling. Yeah, hey, it's it, it it's how they get their money, you know. Yeah, man. Yeah, you gotta have it. Because, like, when you look at how jobs were designed, and when you 
factor in the bell, the timer, the lunch bell, the break bell, mm -hmm. right? When you, when you look at, you know, the, the, the factory jobs, right? Factory jobs were there before schools were really in place. Oh, kids used to work before they went to school, probably. <laughs> yeah. And then what did they do? They put schools together and then they put the bell in place to teach the kids what time to get back to the line. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. The Flintstones taught me that. Remember? And Did and their, their roles in classrooms like the factory was. To, you were being conditioned. Yeah, you're being become, trained all the time. Yeah. You, you, this is, be, be on time. Don't be late. Be here. Be it. it school doesn't foster thought and new wave technology and and stuff like that another, another you're, you're, you're being regimented yeah now after the pandemic has happened right they have these excuses on throwing up fences everywhere everywhere because they don't want people sleeping in the parking lots and now you know because the pandemic happened and everybody was intense and everybody you know so now they're trying to eliminate these bum camps or transient camps or whatever you want to say it because there is a serious problem with homelessness all over America. Yes, sir. But, yes, sir. but with this happening, you're all over the world. Also, all over the world. But now you're looking at what they're doing to the schools as well. They are fencing up the schools as well. And it wasn't just because of Columbine, because that happened several, several years ago. It's not because, and I actually go, I live in Stockton where the first, um, and proud to say it, right? Let me pound my chest. The first school shooting happened here in Stockton, California. And Michael Jackson came to, to the elementary school and he, wow. he's broken. It, it was, it's not cool, right? Going to school and getting shot or having to worry about your children going somewhere and getting shot or even going to a grocery store. Cause that was happening too. People just getting shot out there. Oh, yeah. What happened in Buffalo? Yeah. It, and nobody, nobody can say, oh, take guns away. Sure. And that's, gonna take the, the, that's not going to happen. And nobody can say, so you can say, oh, stats and people in Japan and stuff. And, the, you know, the people don't get shot and stuff. Well, how many people get stabbed with it? With yeah, but I got hit really hard with a with a stick one time in Japan. So don't worry about it. You could still. Yeah. You know, so <laughs> if you want to put some damage. You can, get work. You, can still get, you can still get roughed up. Don't worry. But going back to what I'm saying about, like, it's it's they they put a bell out there so you know where to go in, in school right now yeah. you look at school and they're putting a fence around you this is putting you in a box as well right so now you're not really are you really living you're in a prison already you told you know what's terrible this time and if they make electric cars the way they are talking about making electric cars then you'll have to drive on the, the road. You can't go off a road because that only way your car charges is being on the road. So then J David up here who likes going off-roading in his Jeep is going to be very limited on doing that because he'll either have to have a vehicle like he has now because the new vehicles are going to be, they're not going to go through mud. They're not going to get charged through the rock. David no. loves duding. He's a big duner. I mean, I think what, David, kind of, what kind of Jeep you got, Dave? What kind of Jeep you got? <laughs> it's a it's a Wrangler Rubicon. Okay, good. Four, yeah, four good. door. You know, Jeep is nice. Um, I I do like when when it gets nice out. I'll take the top doors off. Oh yeah. I, yeah. I, I have mirrors that actually go in the door hinges to make me street legal. <laughs> Although they're supposed to not vibrate, but man, they're 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 pretty close to useless. You know. Um, <laughs> David, have you heard but this? They make when, me legal. <laughs> when you have the top off, it's called having your titties out. Did you hear? Did you know that? Yeah, that's from uh, that's from Nas. Oh, is it Nas? That's yeah, Nas. Nas, Nas said that. Was, don't I just don't assumed think... that was Kanye because that's some Kanye shit right there. Now you took that from Nas. Uh, yeah, it was Nas. If I, I, I is either if I rule the world or no, I think it's a new one. I think it's a newer one, wasn't it? No, it's the dun, one dun, where it's dun, like dun, uh, dun, dun, man, dun, I dun, dun, it's a newer dun, one. It's like a harder one. It's like a uh, man. Which which one was it? Dun. It's the one with the cool beat. Yeah, uh, no doubt. Dun. Yeah, it's a little harder. It's a little. It's harder. like New New York or something. It's New like York that. for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't think of it right now, but that's the one. 
Oh, it's like, do, 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 you know, so I think it is just maybe it's the way they're trying to do their negotiations. I think it's young and mature, immature, but, you know, hey, they're making more money than I am. So maybe they're doing something right. You know, I don't know. Right. You know, of all those guys, I only like Fred. To be honest with you, Kittle, Bosa, all the guys could go. Fred is the only guy I really like out of all the people. Yeah, I like Fred, too. Good I mean, guy. I'm just saying I didn't, not that I don't like them and not that they're not good. I'm just saying I could have lived with them. Kittle. It's I made lived with that. Like I'm saying, I, but Warner, I need to have. Nas made you look. That's what that's it. Called. Made you look. You yeah. you were page. Wait, you were what from a page in my rhyme book, right? Yeah, yeah. You were, you said, were a verse from a page when, in my rhyme. When I drive person. through the city, yeah. and I and my drop top is out. Don't say it. Don't say the. Don't, don't say, say the, the top the is dropped. Top, say the titties, say the titties, is, titties out. is out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, there you go, David. So when next time you have the top down, just be like, I'm driving around with the titties out. Oh, yeah. And, and play that Made You Look by Nas. Yeah, it'll give you a whole different vibe. Everybody's in like, Utah, yeah. Oh, who's that Kuma? Yeah. Oh, if I go to Utah, I'm driving right through, like, the Mormon neighborhood, just smoking and blasting <laughs> music. <laughs> Their local cops would be like, what are you doing? Just, just smoking, yeah. You're in Utah. Well, <laughs> well David, what are, we, what are you planning on tomorrow? Is it going to be the draft tomorrow night? It is. It's uh, episode seven, which will be going off of the history of what Kyle and John have done. Who? So don't be surprised if there's a running back in the third round, folks. Oh, um, I hope they I, I look at that scenario, too, that. That like could it, happen. What did you say? It could happen. You never know. It could right? happen. What did you say it was? Did you say it was episode nine? It's episode seven. Oh. Whoa. Is that? What is that? He went up. No, that's a, a that's force got a lightsaber. A yeah. force <laughs> he's got a lightsaber. That's, that's what sick. he's got. Don't cut yourself. The right? Return of the. But, and then you know, there's there's actually only two episodes left. So episode eight's gonna be a ton of research I gotta do. I'm gonna have a week to do it. But it's gonna be a ton of research on who have the Niners actually talked to. You know who they talked to multiple times, right? Who they go to the pro day and talk to at the combine. Who, mm -hmm. you, you know, it's it, it's gonna be. It's it's all a guess, you know. None of us actually know what's going to happen, but we, we it's going to be an educated we guess. Yeah, yeah, you you know, and they post on uh Forty Niners uh web zone. I think it is the the people they talked to and met with, and they do have a tremendous habit of uh drafting those who they they have had in for meetings and talked to. So that is a big indicator. Ooh. Steve-O, okay, everyone needs to answer this question real quick. Already though. answered it. <laughs> who, does Trent, who, who does Trent need to marry to surpass the Swifties? Woo! Ooh, I nailed it. Man, man, it ain't, it ain't much contesting. Those Swifties is tough loaded. One. They That's got a tough one. Not if you go numbers. to Texas, then you're good. I think he'd have to do a Kardashian. <laughs> You think that no, that's like, the only thing I can compete? Isn't that, Chloe? Isn't Chloe? Of the, I, I don't. I don't no, actually what? pay attention, folks. So I don't know if any of them yeah. Are there I'm choosing Megan know, the Stallion all day. The, Megan the know. Stallion all day. Oh yeah, Megan the Stallion's all just day and incredibly night. dope. Trent and Megan yeah. the Stallion. That shit is a power couple, bro. That that's real there. Yeah, that would be sick. Yeah, that, that sick. would shut it down. Yeah, now we got some Grammys, uh, <laughs> Oscars. Can we get, oh. Hold on. What what about Katy Perry? Can we get Katy Perry? Katy Perry's got numbers. She's on uh America. 
guy. America's got oh, talent. He's married, oh. he's married to uh, the elf in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> for real? Yeah. Well, hey, one up for the little guy. Hey, yeah. good for you, elf. Yeah, man, elf. You got well, you know you got one. You got a little three for us. Good for you. <laughs> Dang. Katie Perry's nuts, dude. She's like a maniac. She's like a crazy chick. She's fun. I mean, I'm just saying she's fun. Yeah, <laughs> she did the Super Bowl too. Did she, she dance with the Sharks exactly. one year? At least once, probably. Yeah, like she at least did. once. We need to have uh, Janet Jackson back. That's enough. I know. They need to make that right, man. Make it right, please. Yeah, yeah. Janet Jackson need to get do it. Because, Super like, Bowl, besides man. Michael Jackson, I can't do it better. He's that's super it. band. You know Janet that. Jackson, that's... That, Michael that, Jackson, that's Janet a... Jackson, top two artists. For me. I, I'd say J-Lo, but she, she's married to a guy that looks like the Miami head coach, our, our old OC. Jennifer Lopez and Mark mm -hmm. Anthony. Dude, seriously, seriously, look, look at a picture of those two side by side, Mike well, Daniels and they're they're probably hereditary wise. They're probably <laughs> very. <close. laughs> they're both. Uh, I'm gonna guess they're both um, Caribbean. So they're well, probably. Well, I thought she was a Ben Affleck. Now she is. Is she now? Who knows what she's with now? Yeah, she's a Ben Affleck now. So that's too bad. You know how they are. They, you know, that's a weird. The, thing. the over unders, couple of years. You know, it's, you well, know. Dave, it, uh, it, it, if Trent marries Britney Spears, we'll lose fans. So don't do that. Oh Trent. yeah, don't Is do that. No, I don't do. It. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> she I was saw in, her doing like karate on film one time, like yeah, she, AIDS or something, right? She's. I think she's having a little time, man. She's I, having I think it's, it's issues. Some, yeah, she needs some a issues tissue going on there. What's going on? Okay, hey, that Brian. All right, well, hey, <laughs> don't forget. You know, Terror Dome, he's on every Tuesday and Thursday in the morning, folks. Don't forget to Tuesday check and Thursday. Thank you so much for that shameless plug, David. <laughs> and, they, and David Kenny, comes on, you be, sure. be a golden domer. Yeah, but you know yeah. what? We're actually, Brian and I are actually going to do a live show soon, and it's just going to be whenever. And if you catch it, you catch it. If not, you can rewatch it. But enjoy if you do. Uh oh. Yeah, we're what are y'all gonna, gonna call it? Brent. Are y'all gonna call it Brent, Cult we got Fiction? The coffee talk we in have the morning, Cult Fiction right? too. This is gonna be good Cult, bad Cult, and we also got Cult. Oh, nice. We got both. Nice. Shows, that that, that nice. should be good. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, we got we're gonna the do like talk. top it up like a food truck though, so you just gotta like be around. Oh wow. man. For now, <laughs> we're food trucking it right now. So. You can you can have you know the name of your show, but then your your segments will be. All right, and now we move to cult fiction, and then oh, you go, yeah, yeah. you go we for a segment, segments, and then segments yeah, for days. good cult, bag, yeah, segments is dope. Yeah, absolutely. I need some yeah. segment, but uh, yeah, well, so coffee talk in the morning, folks, but on the Bryant Cult tomorrow, Saturday, Saturday we will dual stream on his and mine, or Sunday, Sunday we will, and mock draft episode seven tomorrow, based off the history of what Lynch and Shanahan has done. That might um, be a drinking. Is that going to be a yeah. drinking show tomorrow night, Dave? What? Dude, are, people are, are we going to have like to... a certain word that comes up in the chat and everyone has to? Maybe no. a secret we'll, word. We'll, like we'll figure week. that out. Like, like <laughs> bust. <laughs> or, or, or who the hell people decision will figure was out that? what that word is and they'll the start spamming it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> if you hear Ayuk, you drink. <laughs>